7.7 degrees in the office here. It's hot, I tell you. It's damn really hot. So Friday, hot. January the 24th, and I'm absolutely elated. This has been, well, a number of years in the making. I think about five years, actually. 19... Uh, 2016. 2016? Mm. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I think it was about then that we first heard of the name Bad Boy Eddie. We've been wanting to set up an interview since then. Finally, today, they are with us. Stay tuned. You're right here at Galaxy. Damn, it's hot in here. <laughs> 90, 91 over there? Yeah, 91.7 degrees in the office. I think it's like 50 degrees here. <laughs> <laughs> I would settle for 50 right now. I really would. Uh, but we work on Celsius, so outside it is 30 degrees Celsius. Um, I think that might be close to about 50. <laughs> yeah, or more, you're, or more. you're right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because here in California, it's so it's warmer there. Fahrenheit's 50 degrees Celsius, right? Or it's 120, 122 actually. We moved from a building literally that had no air conditioning to a building that literally has no bloody air conditioning. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what we're thinking. <laughs> anyway, uh, the chosen one is playing now. We'll extra from that and uh, have a little chat, get to know each other. And at the same time, I'll ask you about the lyrics of The Chosen One and uh, how they came about, all that sort of stuff. Um, and and uh, probably, are we online right yes, now? Yes, we are. We are. Thank you for joining us again here at Galaxy 107 FM. And of course, Facebook Live is today we have Bad Boy Eddie joining us. And of course, we're talking to Kevin Crazed. <laughs> Should I call it Crazed? Kevin Cray and of course Dave Saker is joining us as well uh, and nice to see that they're relaxed enough to have a couple of quiet ones with me like that, I really do by the way Dave, love the hat it's crazy sir <laughs> absolutely love that hat I collect hats uh, well you see I'm jealous because I collect hats and that one's a nice specimen <laughs> you never know uh, I tell you what, you never know, uh, when you're over here in New Zealand, it might go missing. Nah. <laughs> what are you saying, Grant? <laughs> uh, uh, I'm saying I'll substitute it for an 18-year-old blonde. How's that? Oh, there you go. Well, for the birthday. <laughs> yeah. oh, gosh, it's hot. It really is hot in here. Hey everyone on Facebook Live. I think we've got Dan Washburn on. Dan Washburn? Yeah, my pilot buddy. My pilot buddy. Yeah. Great, great entertainment, Dan. What are these guys doing? Causing trouble. Right, let's go to the desk.
That's right, you're right here at Galaxy, 107 FM, 7 after 11 o'clock, 30 degrees downtown. Yeah, that was my prediction, only one more degree to go and Barbara will win, uh, but we all beat the weatherman, don't we? 24 degrees, ridiculous, he doesn't have a clue. Friday, January 24th, and thank you to everybody that is joining us Facebook Live today and on air for one band that I have held in esteem for a good five years now, Bad Boy Eddie, and of course, joining us today, Kevin Craig, or Crazed, and of course, Dave Saker from the band themselves, Bad Boy Eddie, coming out of San Francisco. Welcome along, guys. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it is an absolute pleasure to finally meet you guys, it really, really is. I've been a huge fan for too long now. We should have done this sooner. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a new guy and I'm the block, so timing's perfect, Grant. <laughs> it, it, well, it is, it is. You are the new guy, and I've got to welcome you along, not only a, and congratulate you for the position that you've got with Bad Boy Eddie, uh, but for um, carrying the old tunes into your future. And believe me, it can't be easy, uh, but it's nice to see that you're writing brand spanking new stuff as well. This guy here... This guy here can write the music, I'm telling you. It's hit after hit after hit. It's high energy rock and roll, and um, you come see us live, you won't be denied. It's, it's, it's live, 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 Grant. Exactly, my friends, and believe me, I am excited because I really want to be able to check you guys out live on stage. We will talk a little bit about that later on. Uh, but first, The Chosen Ones was the song that we kicked off with. Give me a little insight. Where did the lyrics come from that? It's about our generation. I want to be ease back. You know, I want to be ease back again. Well, you know, you know something, Dave? I kind of agree with you. I, I kind of like the long hair days as well, you know. I'm, I'm right there with you, my friend. I really am. <laughs> but uh, most people would call mine a skullet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, kind of like a, um, well, you know, a, a solar-powered sex machine on top with a bit of something to remind me what I used to have <laughs> at the bottom. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a new wave thing, it really is. Now, at the same time, my guys, uh, and believe me, uh, I, I really have to ask this because the fans want to know, how do we get in touch with you? Are you on Facebook? Are you on Twitter? Are you on Instagram? But more importantly, guys, do you respond? Yes, response. Yes, we do respond. Um, every day, every day. This guy is relentless. He's up at 5 a.m. He's hammering, hammering all the media until 10 o'clock in the morning. He takes a break. Then he's right back on it again, Grant. <laughs> Some people are just incorrigible, aren't they? Yes, I, mean, I, I, I admire Dave. I've always been. I, I was actually a fan of his before I became a member of the Bad Boy family, and uh, I've been here for thirty years. I'm only twenty nine. <laughs> anyway, no, it's George. Yeah, it's George. But we've known each other a lot of years. I've I've totally had a lot of respect for Dave, and when the opportunity was given to me. I didn't even hesitate. You know, I, I can see that. I gather that. I really, really do. And I really must congratulate you for having the relationship that you have, especially with Dave Saker. Now, at the same time, as I was saying about the uh, 
how fans can get hold of you. Uh, it's always nice, uh, speaking on behalf of a fan, to be able to reach out to somebody and literally have them come back again. Uh, it gives you that strong database these days of where your fans are at, especially with the internet these days, don't you think? Yes, sir. Yeah. So, I mean, we're primarily Facebook. Um, we've got a, yeah, we, we've got a new website that's in development that's that's going to be released here pretty soon. So, you know, we can link one into the other. Um, kind of the Twitter and the Instagram thing, you know, kind of just kind of growing on that. Yeah, I uh, believe. We will have it on Parish Records. <laughs> oh, yeah. Can't leave out Parish Records. You know, you know uh, I, I fully agree with you. Uh, for an old guy like myself, having to learn all the interwebby stuff that goes on these days, right down to programming your phone. Now, uh, <laughs> believe me, uh, that's trickier than it sounds. It really is for somebody of my age. Uh, and um, I've I got to be straight up with you. Uh, for a number of years, I didn't actually have a phone, simply because I didn't want to be contacted. When I go home from work, I want to stay home from work. Work can stay at work. And uh, I used to have a barber for all of that. She did all of that for me. But she gets too busy these days. So she says, Grant, I've got the perfect solution. Here's a phone. And, well, <laughs> now I'm, I'm doing it all myself. You think you take all our calls for us and help us out? <laughs> oh, I'll work for you. Yeah, she me. said she'd work for you as long as the pay's good. Well, yeah, I get that too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, believe me, I don't pay her enough by the sounds of it. <laughs> well, dear. Yeah. Excuse me. Um, um, an asthmatic, and sometimes I lose my breath. I do apologise. Now, I want to talk about Fly Away, uh, and then we're going to come into more new music that... Uh, you guys are going to be promoting off your brand spanking new album, but yes. let's let's just uh, revisit the past a little bit, very very briefly. Tell me a little bit about Fly Away. Fly Away was built by I wrote the music, but the girl sent me the lyrics because she is broken hearted, and I put the music to it for her, and it, 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 it evolved. So Jay had a little help on that. He had a, a gal with a broken heart. Yeah. David made, made the chops, and she See. made up the lyrics, and, uh, and that's that's where we're at with that one. You know, uh, I absolutely love this track. I really, really do. Now, we've been playing it uh, for a number of years, I've got to be honest with you, and I've been told in that time 27,000 requests, 27 and 33,000 requests, have been uh, requested in that period of time. So, uh, believe me, that's a heck of a lot of requests for Fly Away. And we play you guys uh, in specialised shows. Of course, Monday we have the Galaxy Artists. Now, we've been having you in there for about five years because we knew sooner or later we were going to be doing that, uh, that interview. So, at the same time, we play you on uh, Saturday nights in the, in the more metal rock stuff we play you in there as well so we get a fair coverage of bad boy eddie here at galaxy so therefore we get a lot of requests i'm really looking excited uh really excited of looking at releasing a couple of brand spanking new ones very shortly but right now at galaxy 107 fm is bad boy eddie joining us live with fly away <laughs> How are you guys feeling? Fine, are we still live? Good morning. No, uh, well, we are sort of. Um, I'm taking you from the desk while we play your tracks. Well, this is the uh, behind the scenes stuff. Sorry, Doug? 27,000 requests, huh? Yeah, just for Fly Away. Dang. But, but I mean, it's taken five years to get that many. I wish I, wish I was a part of that. Uh, yeah, <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, now you are, because believe me, uh, my best friend is coming up next, and I want to talk about that. Uh, All right. At the same time, I was going to ask uh, Kevin, how long have you been singing? Well, I'm only 29, but I've been <laughs> singing for going on, all right, 38 years. Yeah, okay, okay. Believe me, I, I get that. I'm, I'm 21. <laughs> 
What do you mean, Terry? Yeah, exactly, exactly. I'm only 21, but... Uh, Terry's 18. Terry's 18. I'm 20. You're 20. <laughs> Hi, Gear. Magnus here. <laughs> Hello, Gear. Um, nice Hi, to have Gear. you along. Uh, Gear is the uh, manager of the band Viking Queen in Norway right oh. now. He's joining us uh, live. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, at the same time, guys, uh, we'll give you everything we do here. We'll, some photos, uh, we'll transpose the, um, the video from Facebook Live to YouTube, so we'll send you a copy of that as well. Um, uh, we'll do some, we will do some crazy photos. You can be um, crazy. That we'll, you'll be able to put on your phone and show all your friends, don't do this with Kiwis, it's not healthy. <laughs> <laughs> but the Kiwi wine is the bomb, right? Oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely it is, and uh, it, it's nice to have so many people viewing us this morning. Thank you for joining us. It's an absolute pleasure to be able to bring you what I think is one of the best metal bands, one of the best rock and roll bands of its era. Starting, uh, you guys started way back in the nineties, didn't you, Dave? Yes, sir. Nice. Yes, sir. Nice. You know, uh, I, I love that. I love the long hair era. You know, okay. and music. Yeah, and it takes too much effort to grow a bat once you chop it all off. <laughs> doesn't it? Doesn't it? It really does. Uh, i got to be honest with you, it really does. Um, but at the same time, I mean, I, I was in the music scene in, in that era, and, and I just absolutely love it. I do. A little worried about Ozzy Osbourne right now, though, i got to be honest. Yeah. You know? Kind of a breaker, huh? Yeah, I, I think he's not too far off, eh? Just quietly, and... Uh, that does worry me. But I see you did a song with Elton John the other day, which is rather amusing. <laughs> uh oh. No, I, did, I didn't see that. I didn't yeah. see that. Um, uh, the song's called Ordinary Man. Okay. Yeah, check it out. It's not bad. Little ordinary Man. Yeah, they, um, they don't want to die ordinary men, no matter how much they, they're famous. Um, I don't see that <laughs> they can't help it. <laughs> Everybody dies an ordinary person. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you know what? The key thing Thank is, is while you're up above ground, is have as much fun as you can, right? Absolutely. Live life every minute. Every minute. Love life, yes. And, Love it to the fullest. And uh, we'll talk about um, getting you guys down here in New Zealand next as well, because believe me, um, i got to be honest with you, bro. We're a little crazy here. We do some strange shit. <laughs> He's good, man. Keeps keeps it keeps it young, right? <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Let's go back to the desk. That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107FM, 20 minutes after 11 o'clock, it is 29.2. Starting to cool down a little bit, Barbara, I'm a little worried you're not going to make the mark today. That means I might be a winner, you never know. Friday, January the 24th, and I'm absolutely elated to be joined by two members of the band, Kevin Christ and of course Dave Saker, the uh, original man himself. And uh, just give you, if you haven't discovered by now, a little idea about what this band's like. It's a high octane, hard rocking rock and roll band based on the 80s style, literally. Uh, that is sleazy, it's fun, it's bringing mind the best hair days of the bands like Van Halen, if you remember them, and Skid Row. Uh, funny you should mention Skid Row, we uh, are going to be meeting Skid Row live in person in Norway in a couple of months. So. Uh, we will, That's awesome. Yeah, we are, my friend. We really, really are. So uh, we'll pass on uh, 
a big hello from you guys onto Skid Row as well and say, hey, listen, you know, the, the it, it hasn't died yet. There's still people out there with long hair doing the long hair era bad stuff. I love that. I really do. So, my friend, now you say you've only been with the band for about a year now, Kevin, uh, but believe yeah. me, it, it, it feels like you're a natural just waltzing straight on in there and filling that gap. Uh, was it hard to be able to do? Well, no, no, Grant. Um, I knew coming in that uh, the high energy that that these guys had, and I had a few twists and ideas of my own coming into it, and um, so I'm, I'm hoping that you know I'm able to uh, take us into even a newer era, you know. He, 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 he took the job, man, like that. Bam! He took it. He wanted it. He got it. Oh, my God. No. <laughs> yeah, well, Dave... I, I tell you what. Oh, go ahead. Dave, I, I think it was a wise decision to be able to make this move. I really, really do. I think he suits the, uh, the positioning so well. I really feel that he's got a future with Bad Boy Eddie. Now, don't forget, it is a whole new decade. We're looking forward to a whole new music right now. It's coming. It's coming, man. We got we got some lined up. We'll keep those a secret. But yeah, Grant, they're right on the cusp of uh, getting going. Nice. I like that. So therefore, my friend, I'm going to tell you straight away. If you're going to threaten me with brand spanking new work, I'm going to say I hope you're going to come on back and have another chat about all the new stuff that you're going to be producing very very shortly. We would love that. Anytime, man. And, and, and time you want us. As you've discovered, Kevin, this is not the normal quick 12 questions, we've got a reg regimented sort of way of doing things. We're more relaxed uh -huh. here, uh, and we'd like to be able to get to know you on a more relaxed scale, if you know what I mean. Sure. Even though we do have over 5 million people listening right now, they're voyeurs. It's only, uh, yeah, it's only us. It's only us, really. <laughs> it just passed out and you didn't see it. I came right back. Here we go. <laughs> Don't worry, people. Uh, they're seeing you at your best. They really, really are. So uh, yes. ha have a drink for me. Unfortunately, I'm at work. I've got to uh, drive a coffee cup instead for now. Uh, but believe uh -huh. me, I will make up for that later. Now, having said, that, uh, said about that, we were discussing about the possibilities of you guys thinking about coming down here to Aotearoa in New Zealand and uh, doing a couple of shows. Would you consider doing that? Absolutely. Awesome. If you ask me once, don't ask me twice, because you've got the answer on the first one, Grant. Nice, <laughs> nice. Well, i tell you what, uh, Barbara is the manager of uh, Aurora Entertainments, uh, that brings bands into the country. Uh, they, she works closely with all the managements, and everything that needs to be done gets done, including all your wish lists, your back lines, staging requirements, anything that you need, talk to Barbara, she will make it again. happen. She is absolutely a gem in that direction, she is. So we would love to see you down here, but it's not all work. We kind of do some uh, downtime crazy stuff while we're here as well. Are you up for a few challenges? Okay, yeah. <laughs> I love that straight away. Wait a minute, wait a minute. okay. But is, that, is that a tricky question? Or <laughs> Well, it, it, your sleeve. <laughs> it, it could be, well, yeah, army's up my sleeveies. Um, it, it could be a quick uh, trick question. Uh, God, look at the size of the guns on that. You know, i got toothpicks compared to you, bro. <laughs> That's what happens. A little baseball in my day, too. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, well, you see, this is what happens when they keep you locked up in a room and give you a <laughs> microphone to meet people with. <laughs> That's that, uh, the sum total. Now, uh, having said about getting you down here to New Zealand, and is it a qu uh, trick question? It could be. Now, let me explain that. Have you ever heard of a hoo hoo gram? Uh, how about, no? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, you, you're familiar with the caterpillar, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. This is like a caterpillar on steroids. It's like a mm. double-decker bus to a mini. It's huge. It's big. It's white. has a black head. Now, what you do is when you put the live body in your mouth, rip off the head, don't eat that, but when you crunch down on it, it's like eating creamy peanut butter. I, you know what, Grant? <laughs> I'm going to say, okay. 
Yeah. <laughs> you say so. Well, you need a peanut butter and put it on a caterpillar. <laughs> you know, just give me a caterpillar sandwich. Well, hey, you, you know, you do it first, and I'm right behind you. How's that? <laughs> I, I've, I do many and have done many. Really? Um, the uh, indigenous <laughs> folks of New Zealand, the Maori, actually, it's part of their delicacy. It's one of their delicacies. So uh, yeah, we like to be able to keep up some sort of tradition here at Galaxy. Uh, so, oh. but. You've got to wonder about the guy that's handing you a bowl of these white wiggly things and expecting <laughs> to eat one. <laughs> you do. Uh, but we have a thing in New Zealand here <clears throat> called the Wild Foods Festival down in Hokitika. And uh, <clears throat> we, uh, well, you know, we deep fry things you just really shouldn't deep fry. What do you do? Put a stick up it and dip it in the deep fryer and have a caterpillar. <laughs> That, 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 that's an interesting analogy, but uh, not quite, not quite. Not quite, huh? But they still haven't found the store that you dunk women in chocolate with yet. <laughs> I've been recommending it for years. Do we have to eat one of those too? <laughs> uh, uh, I, I think it's an all-day sucker. You can eat as many as you like. As <laughs> if you like it. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Can, can I redunk this one? It's been a bit licked off. Yeah, I get it. I understand that. Uh, but at the same time, we'll take you down to Queenstown. Now, down in Queenstown, uh, it's like a little boutique town city kind of thing uh, where all the A-listers from around the world go to. You, okay. know, you know the folks that go and run away from their friends, but they take their friends with them to run away from? <laughs> one, of, one of those places and um, you never know who you might run into I mean Shania Twain owns property down there Kevin Costner was there not so long ago uh, even um, Tom Cruise was down there not too long ago as well so you never know who you might run into uh, and, unless you run into me and then I'll just throw you off a bridge no don't do that <laughs> yeah of course it's a lot of fun um, <laughs> <laughs> and peanut, yeah. you can have the peanut butter on the way down. Um, <laughs> we, have, stuck up the <laughs> we have a thing here called bungee jumping, and uh, a lot of fun to do. Just make sure that knot's good and tight, okay? Well, you're not Australian. Of course it's going to be attached. <laughs> <laughs> we just tell the Australians we've attached it. Don't worry. You're fine. <laughs> Is that a hoops? <laughs> no, that's a friendly poke in the eye for them. Yeah. <laughs> <Lies>. <laughs> yeah, exactly. don't, don't worry about that rocket, it'll break your fall. <laughs> anyway, uh, we, we have a little bit of uh, friendly banter between New Zealand and Australia. It's a sports thing that we have. Hey, yeah, well, we've got that with the next town right over, you know, it's... Uh, Leo Benicia thing, but you know. <laughs> yeah, well, you would understand then. Yeah, it's it's, yeah, it's all in sports scale. Yeah, it's all in good fun, but you know we back our teams as well. You know what I'm saying? I do. And um, <clears throat> right now, I, I really shouldn't be giving the Australians too much grief, uh, especially with listening? them. Yeah, well, well, you know they may be listening, uh, but they're going through the wildfires over there right now, and yeah, yeah. you know I, I feel sorry for the animals. Yeah, a lot of animals. Yeah, so, uh, uh, and, and folks, if you're going to donate money to Australia, make sure it doesn't go to the government, make sure it goes to places like St John's or the Animal Rescues, whatever. Don't give the money to the government, the, the places will never get it, honest. Especially yeah. with Scott Morrison at the helm right now, that guy's a tyrant. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, if they can give our Prime Minister a bit of stick, well, guess what, Scott Morrison, you need to stand accountable. There you go. Uh, and so, uh, sorry about that, but we like to, you know, put things straight as well here at Galaxy. We speak our mind. You know what? We're right there with you, Grant. Nice. Do a minute for you guys for that. Nice. Well, I tell you what, while you're here, have you ever heard of Lord of the Rings? Yes. About an hour and a half drive from where we're situated right here is the actual set of Hobbiton. We'll take you there. We're there. Take us. I like it. I do. I like that. At the same time, you know, we'll take you to our biggest city, take you out on the harbour, have a meal, and uh, just take in the ambience, a few wines, stuff like that, 
absolutely splendid. You will love it, I promise. Uh, and at the same time, if you're going to bring your wives, guys, Barbara's yeah. an Olympic shopper. I think the wives like to shop, guys. Yeah. I think, I think they're okay. They'll be okay with that. Yeah, yeah. Sure. <laughs> but believe me, Barbara will certainly take care of the ladies. She knows everywhere to go. She really, really does. Uh, absolute <laughs> gem. She is. Besides, that just frees us up to uh, get into trouble. You know what? I don't think they're going to have a problem coming over there either, you know? <laughs> well, uh, I don't think so. And they like it hot, too, so... Woo, I'll tell you what, it's, uh, it, it's winter time over where you are right now, isn't it? Yeah, it's, uh, it's either foggy, raining, or a few, few hours up the road, it's snowing, so we get it all down here. Believe me, I understand, and I have actually been to uh, San Francisco in the past uh, with, with another band. I used to be an engineer for a band that we uh, toured around uh, 36 months of touring, absolutely tiring, I've got to be honest with you. Uh, six months? Yeah, we went around a couple of times. <laughs> Literally. D did the whole circumference of the world in places you really sh we shouldn't have been. <laughs> we we ha had uh, armed guards in some places and black uniforms and submachine guns uh, es escorting us everywhere we went in some places of the world. Other places, uh, well, we just tried to ditch our valets, to be honest. Uh, you know, uh, one valet to ten of our staff uh, wherever we went, and uh, would you believe we tried to get rid of those guys because we didn't want to do the meet and greets and the uh, museums, the art shows, and all that sort of stuff. Meet the mayors and dignitaries. Bugger that. <laughs> we wanted to get down and find out where the prostitutes were. <laughs> so we, we used to. There was a time for that, right? <laughs> always time for that. It's like Jello. There's always time for Jello. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, or a peanut butter worm. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. Believe, believe me. Uh, by the time you get over here, we'll have you so juiced, you won't even notice that you're chewing on them. Don't worry about it. You go, these taste nice. Take two of each. Take two of each. Eight once two. 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 One on the left and one on the right. There you go. Uh, I will make sure that you get both of those. Uh, now, at the same time, guys, we better move on a little bit, and, well, sure. we've been playing now, just for a little while, My Best Friend. Tell me a little bit about it. Well, I can take you back to the beginning, and, um, actually, Dave and I were up at Lake Tahoe, and, uh, we were both at a Scorpions Queen's Right concert, and before the concert, we had a little bite to eat, and looking over the beautiful Lake Tahoe from the, the restaurant, he leans over and he asks me, he goes, hey, I got a song, you want to go into the studio? And I go, I always want to go into the studio. And I, you know, at the time, I thought that's all it was going to be, was one song, come in and knock it out, and, and one thing led to another, and I said, <laughs> what are you trying to say? <laughs> I sang and I sang on Paris Records. Oh, yeah, here we go, guys, I'm going to hold this up. At Paris Records, put out this. Oh, uh, it's hairspray. Here's a lot of other good bands with um, guys from LA Guns to members from Journey and on down the road. There's just, just a bunch of talented musicians on it and Bad Boy Eddie is number four on, on the CD. Awesome. I, I tell you what, Kevin, I'm going to get my production team to uh, go and research that. Uh, and okay. uh, so, so we, we absolutely love recommendations and music that you guys are listening to, we want to be a part of as well. So uh, I'll get my team onto that and, and download those songs because, believe me, we would be honoured to be able to play them and know that you, Kevin, recommended them to us and uh, we, we will enjoy that 100%. Now, at the same time, uh, where are you recording this? What's, what's the recording studio you're working from? One Way Studios. One Way Studios. Masaki. Send his way. If you have your own job, you don't go in there, man. You gotta have your shit done, man. Nice. Yeah, Masaki, he's really cool. He, um, he, he's, he's very professional and uh, he's fast, he's quick, and he's got good tone. Nice, nice. I like that. As an engineer myself, believe me, I know. Yeah. I, I know what goes into creating music, if you know what I mean. Uh, and I appreciate every step of it. Personally, I don't listen to music as a fan would. 
I listen to it as an engineer or a DJ would, and uh, well, you know, uh, I break it down into <laughs> sacraments. I do. I really do dissect it, and I absolutely love this work. I really do. So please congratulate that man that's been producing all of this stuff because I think he's a genius. I really well, do. Tell him that, and um, even long before me, he's been doing bad boy editing music, and uh, we've known him for like twenty years. 20 years. And, and, and it just seems like yesterday the, the ride has been so good, hasn't it, Dave? Yeah. He proposals. I just didn't even go like this. <laughs> anyway, right here at Galaxy 107 FM, joined, of course, by Bad Boy Eddie themselves. Here is my best friend. There's sweat rolling in my eyes. <laughs> it's hot. Yeah, yeah. Now, what happened to the other way? I've lost it. Where are you? Come here. Come back to me. Where'd you go? There we go. <sighs> so, Kevin, um, yeah. I I'm going to ask you if um, <clears throat> you'd be so kind to be able to send us a couple of CDs and a couple of t-shirts or something. I'd love to be able to you got it. continue promoting you guys as much as possible. You got it. What is your size? How many t-shirts do you want in your size? Um, I don't, I I what I'll do is I'll get Barbara to send you all of those details because uh, believe okay. me, um, we would love to keep Bad Boy Eddie. Uh, by the way, who's doing your graphics on, on your Facebook stuff? Fucking awesome. Excuse my language, but that's no, awesome. You, Hey, we're on, we're on we're on the internet. You can say fuck. Okay. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> DB. Fucking awesome. I, I only say on, it when I'm excited. I got to be honest. We're with not you. on air. We're on Facebook Live. Yeah, we're we on Facebook. Do That's not like nice. on oh, Facebook Live. Okay, but be careful. Do no. they drink on Facebook Live? Yeah. Uh, do they drink on Facebook Live? Of course they do. They do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, um, Jeff Jeffrey Deberry, Iowa, right? He's from Iowa, right? Oh, yeah, right. yeah. Well, oh, you're so <laughs> Sorry, Jeff, if you're out there listening, but um, Jeffrey's a really cool dude. Um, he has a uh, internet uh, radio show. Um, I don't know if I should say it on it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go for it. Go for it. He's on Facebook Live. So. Uh, the Casserole. Um, oh, drawing blanks. <laughs> <laughs> Rock and Roll Casserole. <laughs> Digital Revolution Radio. Digital Revolution Radio. He, he, he sends our yeah, we think this day of that is cool, dude. He sends it. Nice. Yeah, he doesn't even charge his grant, you know, he What does um there's but, more but, but, than one of me out there? What's that? There's more than one of me out there? <laughs> no. <laughs> There's a lot of wannabes, how's that? <laughs> uh, yeah, well, this is true. Um, let's go back to the desk, uh, and I'll give you a stat that maybe you might be interested in. Right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM, 20 minutes away from 12 o'clock, yes, 11.40, 32 degrees, 0.7, that's 33 degrees, that's damned hot here in New Zealand, it really is, and we're not even at the pinnacle of summer yet, yeah, I still think we've got a few degrees to go, to be honest, Friday, Jan that brings in climate change and all that sort of stuff, yeah, Friday, January 24th, I don't want to get into that, but we're coming into a long weekend here in New Zealand, uh, here in the Bay of Plenty, of course, Auckland anniversary weekend, 
Now, 19 minutes away is your chance, the last chance to get $10, uh, 10 cents off your gas. Go down to Gull, go and fill up in gas. 10 cents cheaper right now until lunchtime. So race on down there. Go and get it done and have yourself a very, very cool long weekend. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Joined today, of course, by Bad Boy Eddie, the bad boys themselves. We're talking about Dave Saker and Kevin Crazed Cray right here at Galaxy. These guys are great, absolutely stunning musicians. And, well, what do you know? They've had to come along and do an interview. Five years in the making this has been. Absolutely elated to have these guys here. And, uh, Kevin... Uh, we would love to be able to continue to promote Bad Boy Eddie as much as possible. Sure. How would you like to send us a few, well, I don't know, we call it swag, a bit of, uh, a, bit of a care package that we could do a giveaway with our fans online. Would, would you uh, entertain that idea? Tell you what, you tell us how many bags of swag you want and we'll make it happen, all right? Nice. Well, today I'm actually wearing, of course, Taylor X. A uh, young lady coming out of New York and, and stunning, stunning, stunning artist. She really, really is. And uh, I think, guys, go and research Taylor X. You can't go wrong. She is an absolute gem. She is. Keep an eye out for her. She's the future of music in that area right now. Uh, and Taylor X? Taylor X. You will love her. You absolutely will love her. You really will. Uh, she's a rocker. Loves it. Oh. Absolutely loves it. She really does. She's the We like that. Yeah. Uh, Barbara, you're dangerous. <laughs> that thing. Uh, you, you know what Darth Vader's like with his uh, wandy thing? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I got Barbara with one. It's a hard hat area around here. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. No, the seagulls. <laughs> no, the seagulls. Ducky said. 107 Galaxy Radio, baby. 107 Galaxy Radio. I love Later. that. I, I love that. And you know something, guys? Uh, next time you're next to a uh, a, a, reco a, a recordable 58, how would you like to uh, uh, do me a couple of voiceovers and we can add you to the system to keep Bad Boy Eddie rolling? Would you do that for us? Oh, definitely. Awesome. Dave, all right. Dave and I have been knocking those things out left and right, so we'd love to get get one out to you guys. Bingo, bingo, love that, I really, really do. Uh, at the same time, uh, we won't give you a script or anything, uh, it, because they all sound the same that way. We like a little uh, original, if you know what I mean. Uh, it's, well, we thought up a little bit. <laughs> love that, and, and of course, uh, MP3s, please, because uh, that's what our uh, uh, production team work with, so uh, if you're going to do them and send them, please not wave. MP3. You got it, MP3. Nice, yeah. nice, I yeah. love it. I, I love <laughs> that, I really, really do. Now, uh, at the same time, guys, uh, we've only just got this in, just, a, well, just over an hour and a half ago, and uh, I'm absolutely loving it. Haven't heard the whole deal yet, so this is brain speaking not only to our listeners, but to me as well. Tell me about Misery. Well, okay, I came in... Second hand, you know, the song was done once before um, by the original singer Eddie, Eddie Vega. And um, I came in and uh, added my own twist to it. And Tore up. And well, he, yeah. I'm a little modest, but thanks, Dave. Right on. <laughs> I squeezed his balls in the studio, man. He gave you that tone. He gave tone, Grant. My balls still hurt from him squeezing a bit. <laughs> I was wondering. <laughs> I was wondering. Yeah, yeah. Uh, believe me, uh, I, I know you've been singing for a, some time, my friend. I discussed that with you earlier on. Uh, but what I've heard of the song absolutely is amazing. I love it. I love it. I love it. How long did it take to record? Well, I can't tell you how long it took them. It took me what three, three and a half hours to do all the vocals. The, the yeah. This yes, really. That's relatively quick, though, isn't it? It makes it what takes the longest. He takes it on and do it on this. He doesn't do it on this. He doesn't do it on something else. But the bottom line is, Grant, when somebody's holding your balls for three hours, okay, you know, you want to get it over with, okay? <laughs> no wonder you have a best friend. Best friend, you know, it, 
it took a little bit longer, I think. Uh, <laughs> it was my, my first uh, run in the studio with the guys, and um, that was a brand new song from scratch. Um, yeah. So, um, yeah, it took a little bit longer, but, uh, you know, a few hours. Absolutely um, brilliant. Absolutely stunning. It really is. Uh, i got to admit, though, my friend, if anybody was going to hold my balls for three hours, they would be married to me. Yeah, I agree. Uh, and and she foolishly said yes too. By the way, you you, you got it nightly, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I got threatened of it nightly anyway. <laughs> well, for thirty six months again. He dang right. Yeah, exactly. You know, hey, listen, I'm just going on tour with another band. I'll see you later. <laughs> yeah, believe me, that would go down like a lead parachute. It really, really would. Um, yeah, but be, before we. Uh, get into, of course, playing Misery. Uh, should I do the five questions of Fifty Shades of Grey? I'm sure. Up to me? Are you, are you sure? We, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I get a big moan, so obviously yeah. we're going to be doing this. Uh, so, are you up for a little quirky kind of uh, quick fire answer thing? We'll try. Okay, check this out. Uh, are you familiar with James Bond? Of course. Okay. Uh, Which one? Uh, yeah, well, you know, the latest one, Daniel Craig, while he was making the latest uh, James Bond movie, which is still yet to be released, actually, uh, he broke his ankle and had to have 12 weeks off. True story, it really happened. While he was down, his management and uh, all of the people that own and work the James Bond franchise got together and decided, we're going to have a female James Bond to the horror of the world. Literally, the world was in shock. Ian Fleming would be turning over in his grave right now and, and saying, that is not what's going to happen. So they ditched that idea. They've come up with a brain making new idea now. They're going to have a gay James Bond. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I get that. Uh, do you know what they're going to call him? Uh, okay, uh, gay bond? Uh, gay bondage? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> U7. Uh, they, they're going to call him U7. <laughs> I get it. U7. <laughs> they are. Um, now, here in New Zealand, our Prime Minister is a female. Her name is Jacinda Ardern. Uh, in the UK, of course, uh, Boris Johnson, he's just won his election. In uh, Germany, for instance, of course, Angela Merkel. And in America, you have Donald Trump. Barely, but Donald Trump. Uh, who's the odd man out? <laughs> you have to ask me that question, really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be the one, and, and, and okay, yeah, no comment. You're good. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, we, we, we say it that way, no comment. We, we, yeah, too, we too feel that Donald Trump is the odd one out. The rest are politicians. I like his hairdo. Yeah, what, what's that name? Well, who named that? It, uh, it's got a life of its own. I wonder if it's got a room of its own as well. <laughs> yeah, room. yeah, yeah. Well, you know, what do they feed it? That's more scary. <laughs> Literally. Whatever will land in it anyways. Exactly. <laughs> now, you've, you've heard of vegan sausages, I'm sure, right? Sure. Okay, are they made of real vegans? That would be meat, now, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> I'm still struggling to see how they can uh, get uh, meat out of vegetables and call them a, uh, a patty, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. But apparently you can. Now, at the same time, yeah. at the same time, here in New Zealand, we're undergoing, well, the government is at a steadfast, it doesn't know what to do. We now have a referendum on two subjects. The first subject is the legalisation of medical marijuana here in New Zealand. Do you agree that we should do this? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. I agree, Dave. I really do. And uh, I had a little old fella drive up to me the other day in one of these little footpath carty things with a flag on the back. And he goes, Grant, Grant, I heard that oil's good for your joints. <laughs> Is it now? <laughs> yeah, that, that, that was my answer as well. Is it? Uh, okay, fair uh, enough. Tell, uh, tell me more. Okay, uh, but the other thing that we're having a referendum on here in New Zealand right now is euthanasia. Now, I feel personally 
that if um, people are of the need of that service, they should have it available to them uh, if they're sound mind. But, you know, their bodies and everything are just absolutely giving up. I, I think that's a blessing. How do you feel? Well, that guy here named Dr. Kevorkian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've seen his van. <laughs> yeah, you seen his van? <laughs> yeah, I have. Yeah, I, you know where that van resides? Uh, it, it's in a museum with the uh, Ghost Adventures or something, isn't it? Nailed it, yeah. Zach that, Bailings, I think the guy's name Zach, is. Zach, yeah. yeah. Yes. Watch him every Friday and Saturday night. <laughs> Yeah, he, he has his he has his own TV show as well, doesn't he? Yeah, I think it's been running for about ten years, so he's been pretty successful. So okay, uh, not that I've ever seen the show or taken part or anything like that, uh, but yes, I do know that he's got a uh, a museum that he collects all sorts of weird and funky stuff. So uh, and yeah, he, he's Vegas. and he's got the uh, the good doctor's band. Yeah, awesome. We'd love to go and see that. That's much like Ripley's, though, isn't it? You know, yeah, I believe it is. Um, <clears throat> I was going to take him to her, but it was like 50 bucks a head to get in, so... That, um, that's, the, the <laughs> that's the scariest part of the lot. <laughs> yeah. I'm in Vegas, man. i got better things to spend 50 bucks on than going to a museum, but anyways. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, bail's a good start. Uh, now... Last question, of course, we were talking about euthanasia uh, and uh, whether we should do it. I kind of feel that we should. Uh, but having said that, guys, I want to be like my grandfather and pass away peacefully in my sleep, unlike the passengers in his car at the time. <laughs> but I guess that was uh, <laughs> that, that timing on his part. Oh, uh, well, uh, either bad timing on his part or uh, bad timing on theirs, depending on, you know, you should never pick up hitchhikers, apparently. <laughs> yeah, well. Anyway, right here yeah. at Galaxy, I'm joined live by two members of the band Bad Boy Eddie. Here's Misery, right here at Galaxy. You should blow you away. Gosh, Bob, it's hot. <laughs> How are you feeling, guys? You alright? Hi, Ryan. Hi, Mary Ann. Ah, Ryan. Ryan Neville? Ryan Cohen. Oh, Ryan Cohen. Okay. Yeah. Nice yeah. to have you join us. Thank you very right. much. If you've got any new work, send it to Barbara. Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Send it to Barbara, not to me. Send it to Barbara. Send that way, you know it's going to be getting... Yeah. Send it to Somebody's going to have it. Yeah. Um, Guys, I'm fascinated that you um, opened for the Black Crows and Lita Ford. What'd you say, 1077 Galaxy Radio, what'd you say? <laughs> I said I'm fascinated that you worked with the Black Crows and Lita Ford. Yeah, you know, a lot of that was before my time, but, you know, Bad Boy Eddie's got a nice list of uh, big bands, uh, you know, including, like, Great White. You know, I actually got to play under uh, a show up in Sacramento under a band called Pretty Boy Floyd. Uh, they've done oh, L.A. Yeah. Guns, they've done Y.N.T. Michael Shanker. Michael Shanker. Enough's Enough. Black Crows. <laughs> Bullet Boys. I, I, as an engineer, I, I used to do a lot of big stadium stuff in Auckland and <coughs> around, around the country when the bigger bands came into the country. And... Uh, had the pleasure of working with people like Metallica, for instance, uh, Pink Floyd back over the days, uh, even ZZ Top. Never, never, nice. worked, never worked with Lita Ford, but always wanted to. I'm a big fan of her work. I really, really am. So I'm very envious. I really am. Um, having said that, though, uh, the band that we used to tour around with, I don't know whether you would remember these guys, um, they were called In Excess. Yes, love the ball. Oh yeah, it was a great band. I was fortunate enough to be one of the sound engineers for that band, so uh, we, we got to do quite a bit. That's why we used to try and skip away from our valets. And uh, if, if you want to know a funny story, I'll tell you a funny story about that. When we were, in, uh, <laughs> when we were in Amsterdam, I, I, it's a little longer than a minute, so because you've still got about a minute and a half to go here. So I'll, I'll talk you on air about it, but I'm sure... sure you'll find it amusing because uh, we're Kiwis, we're down to earth, we, we look at things in a different way that other people would look at things 
And when somebody asks you a silly question, you've just got to fill that gap, don't you? Sure. <laughs> so I think you'll find that amusing. Um, our last song will be My Little Dreamer. Um, once, once we finish up, don't go anywhere, guys, because we will take a few photos for uh, promotional purposes, put you on Facebook, all that sort of stuff. And um, we'll, we'll do a couple of videos as well. Shall we do one for... Um, yeah, Jacksonville, want, Florida? Yeah, okay. Um, we have a sister company in Jacksonville, Florida, um, but they're a TV company. Okay. And it's uh, late night television in Jacksonville, Florida. And they take our interviews, they play them, well, they chop them to pieces, put in music and play them and all sorts of things. They make me actually look good, which is really weird. And uh, we do a couple of videos for their man for us as well. But let's go back to the desk. That's right. <clears throat> You're right, here at Galaxy. 107 FM, three away from 12 o'clock. I know I'm going over time. Uh, my boss has just been talking to me in my ear. 31 degrees right now. And uh, heading, well, you know, the high was 24. I think we demolished that. And how? Literally. Friday, January the 24th, coming into the long weekend. And we want you to uh, drive safely on the roads over the weekend. Don't go crazy. Don't go crazy. We want you to come back from your destinations back home safely. We really, really do. Absolutely elated right now to be talking to Dave Saker and, of course, the crazed one himself, Kevin Crazed, uh, or Craig, from the band Bad Boy Eddie. Now, these guys we've been following for about five years now. Absolutely feel honoured to be a part of their fan club. We really, really are. Having said that, uh, we were just having a little chat off air and uh, I was telling you about the band that I used to tour around with as one of the leading engineers and um, <clears throat> we get to Amsterdam. Now for every 10 people we had a ballet and we had to go and do the formal stuff of course, you know, meet and greets and uh, see the museums and go and see all the artworks. Damned boring. Absolutely. So we used to try and shuck this guy as much as possible, get the hell out. And uh, while in Amsterdam, I went, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, that's the one. Uh, I went running up the street and found a door that had stairs. So I go running up the stairs, top of the stairs it said, country dancing. Now I'm thinking a little boot scooting. Let's get on with a little bit of country music. Go and have a look at that. See what's happening. Walk through the door and here's a mass, an absolute <coughs> mass of humanity in all of these brightly coloured clothes uh, and bells. Lots of bells, everywhere bells and, and these uh, wooden shoes making a hell of a noise on the wooden floor, banging around like crazy. And I'm sitting there looking at this going, well, that's different. You don't get to see that every day. When this young lady, must have been about 18, 20 years of age, comes up to me, long hair, blonde hair, all tied up, sort of really looking nice, blue eyes, big smile, and she goes, do you clog? <laughs> I went, yeah, only if I eat too much cheese. True story. I got a pair of clogs in my closet, man. I'm going to get them on right now. Hold on, I'll be right back. I hope that would go with my mankini. Yeah. I was looking at my mankini the other day and I was thinking to myself, you know, it's perfect beach time, should get this old sucker out, but at the same time, we like to be able to promote our company, so I'm not quite sure where I can put my logo. <laughs> well, if it's a mankini, you're, um, you're limited. Let me, let me put it to you that way. <laughs> well, thank you for calling me limited. 
<laughs> I did it, I know. Yep. Uh, Absolutely. Good evening, so, uh, I, I decided I'm going to stick with the button and just stick it on my strap. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> That, that way, look at the button. Look at the button. Get the button. <laughs> yeah, get your eyes up. Look at the button. Come on. <laughs> uh, but, but having with said the that, with a big smile, like you said earlier. <laughs> well, we we used to have a thing here in New Zealand. You see, we're a rugby nation here in New Zealand. That's the sport we play, rugby union. Yeah. And um, we we used to have this thing down in Wellington called the Sevens, which is sort of a glorified version of it much like the T20 cricket and all that sort of stuff. They've shortened it down. Uh, anyway, uh, seven minutes aside, that's how it comes about, if you know what I mean. Now, mm. we used to be able to turn up, rock up, you know, big chili bins, eskies, whatever you want to call them, full of alcohol uh, and sandwiches, mm -hmm. instead of buying your own and having to buy from them and everything like that. But you could even turn up in a mankini. Nobody would blink. It would be fine, you know. It was one of these weird dress kind of festival <coughs> football sportsy things that we could do. We're not allowed to do that anymore. So, you know, I, I'm kind of worried that we might actually be escorted off a beach now in a mankini. Uh, I'm, I'm not a big fan of those, so... Uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, neither am I, but I'm always... <laughs> <laughs> Always up for a challenge, and believe me, I've been challenging yeah. weird stuff. We have a uh, an international cricket day here in New Zealand today at Mount Eden, the uh, home of cricket in New Zealand. And, and literally, in New Zealand, the Black Caps are playing India. And, and uh, again, I'm the type of guy that would hold up a placard saying, ban placards wearing my mankini. <laughs> and? <laughs> I don't think I would get in. <laughs> okay <laughs> <laughs> but that's the kind of guy that I am and, and I hope that's not uh, making you feel insecure because you guys are coming to meet me you really are you're going to have to play here in New Zealand um, I, will, we can't wait. I will have mankinis for all Come of on, you John take them on all right well you can't lose. I tell you what if, if you buy them and you, and you put little seven FM galaxy on it yeah. we'll wear them well, I tell you what, if you uh, wear it and stretch it out a bit, I will have a place to be able to sign my name on it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm a little dreamer. Yeah, I am. Yes. Uh, tell me all about my little dreamer. My little dreamer. <clears throat> okay, well, Dave wrote that song a bit ago, but um, he pulled that one out um, and uh, he reproduced it and... Um, there you go, pretty much. It's about my daughter, right? It's about his daughter. He's in the foot of Jimmy, and he's got the moment around with it. Yeah, my boys. I, I get it, Dave. I really, really do. And believe me, uh, for what I have actually heard of this scene, we've only got it in today. Uh, and I think this is a world premiere here at Galaxy, is, of course, <coughs> Bad Boy Eddie. And my little dreamer right here at Galaxy. How are you feeling, guys? We're doing fine. How are you guys doing? Not bad, not bad. I'm melting, but we're not bad. Wouldn't want to be an ice cream. Put your eye out with that thing. Yeah, I tell you. She's oh, dangerous. don't get that close. <laughs> <laughs> Might seem it, but I don't get that close. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's like those cheer planes, you've got a duck. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Um, hey, so we'll send you a bag of swag, but we're not going to put no mankinis in them, okay? Just no, like, no. You'd like some underwear, though, wouldn't you? Well, I've actually got a band sending me underwear. Have you? Yes. <laughs> I, I do. I have a bit. Uh, I get people that send me all sorts of. It's a koozie. Oh, check you out. You know, I, I, we get all sorts of things, um, including, <clears throat> check this out. This is a band called High South, and uh, they sent me. Oh, nice. Nice heart. And it's even got their logo on it. Oh, we've got a show on Facebook. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Oh. Hey, is it, is it cool to give the rest of the band a shout out right now or should I wait? Absolutely. We will do that right now because uh, we'll 
wrap it up from here, but don't go anywhere. But yes, we will give the band a shout out. Of course, uh, we don't want to forget Nick, Steve and Larry, uh, because believe me, I, I think it's important being part of the band as well. Yeah, they couldn't be with us today. They're all working, so. I get it. Believe me, I get it. Um, I, I'm so grateful that uh, you, you guys could take the time out and talk to us. It's an absolute pleasure to be uh, with you guys. Well, it's an absolute pleasure you, you having us on, so uh, we really appreciate it. Right. And, and of course, I think we should pump Ferris uh, Records again, just you know, give it give it a yeah. good old hype up. Absolutely. Well, Mathers at Ferris Records, definitely. Yes. Um, MVM music. Yep, we, um, <laughs> We want people to go out, buy your products, and buy your records, and uh, get in there and uh, make a bit of money. We really, really do. Um, and if you guys can send me some MP3s of doing some voiceovers, would love that. I really would. Um, who, who's that joining us? John Forster. John, Dr. John. Yeah. Hey. Thank you for joining us. Uh, Dr. John. Dr. John Studios from uh, the UK. Uh, is he? Oh. he he promotes bands, he uh, shows bands, all sorts of things, believe me. Uh, I should get Barbara to send you his details. Uh, in the meantime, let's go back to the desk. Yes, you're running out of time. <laughs> That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM, 8 after 12 o'clock, it is 30 degrees downtown. That, well, is our high right now. The weatherman said 24, it didn't stand a chance, really. But, as you know with me, uh, he never does. Friday, January 24th, coming into a long weekend right here at Galaxy. Uh, Got to thank Dr. John from Dr. John Studios, uh, of course, uh, in the UK. Devon in the UK, over there who uh, partakes and looks at a number of our artists, including, of course, uh, our good old friend D-Rock. Loving, loving what you got in line for D-Rock and Michelle Lee right now. That's a great lineup. Well done, Dr. John. Now, having said that, uh, I want to give a big shout-out to Bad Boy Eddie and all of the band members, Nick Campbell, Steve Jones, Larry Bunnell, and, of course, the two victims that have been with me this morning, Kevin Crazed Cray and Dave Sager, thank you guys for joining me. It has been an absolute pleasure to have you guys along. Will he come back again? Definitely. Thank you, Barbara. Barbara. And uh, I want to give Paris Records a bit of a pump as well because, uh, believe me, they do one hell of a job for you guys, don't they? Yes, they do. Uh, you know, Tom Mathers uh, is... is He's a hard worker. He's a very hard worker. He's getting our name out there. He's putting us on, you know, CDs with a bunch of kick-ass other other kick-ass bands, and um, he's pumped my my best friend up there. You know, it's out there. Uh, you can purchase it on Amazon and all the other Spotify and all that. You can purchase it out there if you guys are interested in it. And that's it. Deal. Nice. Well, I, <laughs> I, I tell you what. Uh, while we're talking about him, if, he, uh, if you want to get in touch with him and say, hey, these guys down here in New Zealand have a number of bands that you may be interested in and putting into your next CD, along with Bad Boy yeah. Eddie, uh, maybe mm -hmm. we can give him a few details, a few suggestions, and believe me, we have some absolute kick-ass bands on our records. We really do. And i got to say... We have no doubt. We have no doubt of that, Brandon. Uh, that's, that's really cool. And i got to say... Bad Boy Eddie has been there for five years, literally. So, so happy to meet you. I really, really am finally to get an interview with you guys. So looking forward to you guys coming back again with brand spanking new stuff. And uh, Dave, leave the hat behind at home when you tour down here because you're not leaving New Zealand with it. <laughs> <laughs> watch that, Grant. Yeah, yeah, watch, watch it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Some women like shoes and handbags. I like hats. Ain't all that, man. 
and, and mankinis. Yeah. yeah, well, apparently. I don't know what they were. <laughs> I like the ones that glow in the dark. <laughs> Pink. I do. Uh, you know, uh, I'm sure they were made out of uh, parachute line. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Could have been. Could have been. But uh, that's what we call the girls ones, isn't it? Yeah, I've heard different versions of it. But yeah, we'll go with dental floss. Okay, yeah, yeah, very much so. Uh, so, guys, we're going to have to wrap it up there right now. <laughs> but please don't go anywhere just yet. Uh, because we still got a couple of things we're going to do. Of course, we're going to make a video, put you on our website, literally, with the amount of traffic that we have. We have a, uh, a shout-outs thing that we put you on there. And believe me, people go and look, and before you know it, you've got another 5,000 Facebook fans. I won't apologise. <laughs> I won't. I promise. You know what? That's okay, Grant. It's, I'm not going to well, reach out any time. It's going to keep Dave extra busy now, isn't it? Yeah, you know, Dave Saker, you know, on Facebook, Kev Craze. My name is Kevin Craze, folks, but I go by Kev Craze, so... I, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased I didn't get that wrong, Kevin. I really, really am. I, I know your name oh, is oh, Craze, oh, yes. uh, but uh, as I came into the room, Barbara says, Crazed, call him Crazed. So, I did. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I, I, I do what my bosses tell me. I got a tattooed on my back, just... So it's all good. Nice, nice. Uh, strange that I was actually going to get a tattoo this week, but unfortunately that fell through. Uh, but never mind. It is 12 minutes. At, stay there, guys. 12 minutes after 12 o'clock. 30 degrees, 29.9, 30 degrees. Here's Denny and the Juniors at the hot right here at Galaxy.